In this video, I will share with you 11 examples going to share which Indian cooking golf demonstrates having pure genius elements. You would be surprised to know how intelligently different ingredients are used in our kitchen, which not only make the dish tasty and flavorful, but also enhance your health. So without any further delay, let's get started. Hi friends, welcome to Fit Repeat. Subscribe to our channel for this type of regular videos. Ever wondered why turmeric is used in almost every Indian curry? Firstly, turmeric provides a distinctive bright yellow color to curries. Experiment this, make a curry, this one with and without turmeric. Instantly, you will be more attracted to the turmeric additive and the resulting digestive juices will be better secreted. The truth is that our ancestors knew very well that our eyes eat, even before our mouths. Then due to its antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties, it kills harmful microbes in vegetables and also reduces inflammation in the body. Basically, instead of going for an artificial route of adding synthetic colors, we use natural herbs and spices, which also add their healing value to the food. Another great thing about this is the combination of turmeric and black pepper, which enhances the absorption of turmeric. Today, you can see many curcumin-based supplements trying to replicate this effect. This sets an example that if we stick to our Indian diet, then we do not need to depend on these pills. Bitter gourd or bitter gourd is well known for its detoxifying properties. Or so we all believe, the more nutritious bitter gourd is, the more difficult it is to eat, and that too because of its bitterness. However, our forefathers understood this limitation very well, so he practiced marinating bitter gourds with salt for at least 30 minutes. This will effectively draw out the bitter juice of bitter gourd, making it even easier to eat. Bitter gourd is then mixed with sour food, usually raw mango, to mask the bitter taste even more. Smart, isn't it? Not only this, fennel is also an important part of bitter gourd curry, and you must have also noticed that they are usually fried in a lot of oil. This is a smart way to balance its drying and cooling properties. So the next time you eat that bitter gourd, don't forget to acknowledge the traditional value that went into making it. When we say dal makani, it is easily understood as black uridel. Have you thought about why? Black gram is one of the most powerful pulses in the market. However, it is not easy to digest and can cause gas formation in the stomach. To overcome this, our grandmothers considered two spices mandatory to make it. They are asafoetida and bay leaf. This recipe is being followed even today in every Indian kitchen. For balancing it with fresh butter, it is added to balance the drying effect and avoid gas. So don't say no to that butter just because. Just because it contains calories, it serves a higher purpose there. The center point of South Indian cuisine is their unlimited types of doses and endless. A South Indian person would never miss adding fenugreek seeds while preparing the batter. Do you know the reason behind this? An interesting property of fenugreek is its affinity for certain wild yeasts, which makes the fermentation process fast and easy. So today there is no need for those synthetic fermenting agents. Even modern research agrees that fenugreek seeds contain compounds with high amounts of beta-glucans. They help in holding the carbon dioxide, which makes the idli fluffy and soft. Fenugreek seeds also give viscosity to the batter and are also responsible for giving a crispy texture to the dough. We should be proud that the recipes carefully prepared by our forefathers have stood the test of time. Using bare hands while preparing food is intrinsic to Indian cooking, be it kneading dough, making chapatis, or ladus. But isn't it dirty and unhygienic? Well, it's far from it. Rather, the base of this practice is beyond the ordinary. Each finger of our hand represents the five elements from which our body is made. Our ancestors understood the importance of touch. When we touch food with our bare, clean hands, the food gets appropriately charged, making it more lively and easier to digest. Scientists have confirmed that our fingers are a major center of tactile sensations, which are processed by the cortex the most advanced parts of the brain. So the next time you see your mother using her bare hands to cook, know that she is making the food more lively. You may have heard that vegetarian food is an incomplete source of protein because it does not contain all nine essential amino acids. Although it is true, but thanks to our forefathers, this does not apply to Indian vegetarians who regularly relish the good old staple combination of rice and lentils. Lentils contain an amino acid called lysine, which is not present in rice and rice contains all sulfur-based amino acids, which are not there in pulses. Together, they make a meal that is not only rich in protein, but is also tasty. 
filling, and easy to digest. No wonder the farmers of the country with such bodies never take protein shakes. Rather, their staple is lentils, grains, and vegetables. Probiotic supplements that increase gut-friendly bacteria have become an industry of their own. Ask your grandma what probiotics are. Well, she might not be aware of the word. However, she knew how to take them through food, and that too more effectively, in secret fermented food. No matter which part of India you live in. Idli, dosa, dokla, curd, paneer, bachara, kanji, gunduk, sinki, pitha, and many more are rich in what are now popularly called probiotic bacteria, which sit in your gut and help in better digestion, absorption, assimilation, and digestion of food. Let's ensure the extraction of food. So make sure to include fermented food in your regular diet and you will never need those synthetic probiotic pills. Remember the time when you were sick and your mother served you hot chicks tea? Nutritious diet is made by mixing equal quantities of rice and moong dal. Rich soil of India produces countless varieties of pulses. But have you ever wondered why only moong dal is used in chicks tea? This is because moong dal is a lentil that suits almost every body type and can be consumed in any season. The challenge is to serve food that gives proper nutrition. And yet, it should be light and easy to digest. This is where the combination of moong dal and rice fits perfectly. It is served with a spoonful of ghee and lemon juice to lower the glycemic index and improve nutrient absorption. Smart and simple, isn't it? What is the first thing that comes to our mind when we think of Indian curry? This is tadka, isn't it? High calorie oil is used. However, the base of this practice is the deep understanding of food that our ancestors had. There are nutritional benefits of tempering. Hot oil has the amazing ability to extract and retain the essence, aroma, and flavor of spices and herbs, and when added to a dish, carries the essence with it. The use of tempering in Indian curries varies from region to region, reflecting the use of local spices. For example, the north has more cumin and the south has more curry leaves. Our grandmothers understood that spices had therapeutic properties, and it was high-grade cold-pressed oils specific to one region or G which were generally used for the best extraction out of them. That's why never fall in the trap of curry without oil. They may be low in calories, but not so rich in pranic values. A bite of salty pickle, a little chutney, and that crunchy pepper often accompany Indian food. Have you ever wondered why pickle must have got spoiled? Pickles in small amounts are a blessing for the digestive system. Rich in probiotics, it is prepared so smartly that it can last for years without a refrigerator. Chutneys, both sweet and savory, not only add depth and flavor to every bite, but also help in smooth digestion. Papad is a great appetizer. Just seeing it on your plate can cause the body to secrete the right enzymes. It's these little, tiny add-ons to food that make a normal-looking meal magical right. Now, before I go any further, I would like to briefly discuss some foods that have similar names. But with time, the process of making them has changed. For example, sugar, which is now sulfur washed, oils, which are now chemically refined, and salt, which is now chemically treated to make it free flowing. Lastly, cast iron kadai has always been cherished as a prized possession by Indian mothers who cook. Why not? The benefits of using it are many. Cast iron kadai has a peculiar property of maintaining an even temperature on all sides, which is great for keeping food warm as it retains heat for a long time. I have already shared with you how every time you iron embroidery, if you cook something, a small amount of iron gets absorbed in the food. Do not forget that iron is tough and durable, so next time you feel like eating food, they should be enriched with iron, embroidery be made and out of many advantages. I have selected only 11 expressions, which give you an angle slash perspective, that traditions of Indian cooking is an art, which for only thinking understanding designed just for taste, rather it is made keeping health in mind. My purpose of making this video is to acknowledge the efforts made by our forefathers, and let us motivate ourselves and stick with our traditional Indian diet. To keep getting such information, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon, so that you can get such videos regularly. See you in the next interesting video with some more new information. And thank you for sticking with this video, till the end.